I had a very dear friend who lost a house. It burned down in Washington State in 1972. Called me up. He said, my insurance money is this high. Uh, the money to have a contract to rebuild my house is this high. But I bought the materials. I can't hammer nail it. I took a very dear friend from uh, L.A. We, we uh, drove to Washington, built my friend's house. I do believe in karma. Helped my friend, went back to L.A., opened up a small business in Venice Beach, California. My very dear na uh, close neighbors were uh, uh, George Powell, uh, his, uh, his daughter and uh, son-in-law had a store. One day George was there and he walked into my store and he said, you have a face I could use in a movie. I didn't know quite who he was. It was explained to me that he was the original producer of War of the Worlds, Journey to the Center of the Earth, The Time Machine. We're talking old school, classy. They wore ties and suits. Um, old Hollywood was uh, quite wonderful. And George gave me a two-day guarantee so I could be taft hartley It's a, uh, a labor law condition. I could get my SAG card. Well, that was lovely. However, I wanted to be a, a homestead in Alaska and be a nature photographer. The casting director from Doc Savage was casting for another fantastic movie starring Jack Nicholson called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I'd worked two days for George, and then I got a phone call, and they said, hey, you need to get an agent because we want to work you for about four months on uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Well, the third movie was uh, The Hills Have Eyes. I met, I met uh, Wes and Peter, and we had a great time doing The Hills Have Eyes. And it was, uh, you know, no budget, but let's, uh, let's make this movie, and it was a success because it was a good story. And bottom line is, if you're not your own person, don't get in, into uh, politics or into showbiz. You have to be strong. You have to know who you are.